Okay, I'm very excited to talk about this as a friend and I created this bot together um, to count your hats or your all of your accessories by putting a command in a Discord server. Um, it'll tell you how many hats you own in total. Let me go a little bit of some backstory of why this exists and why this is a very difficult uh, thing that I needed to be created or had to, had to have created uh, because of this group. So back in the day, this game is this group I created, Hat Collecting Club, kind of a weird name, but I thought it sounded pretty cool back in the day. I created this club or this group in 2016 of June 10th. As you can see here is the first thing I've done. I've changed the description of the group um, and that is super old. I mean, I, I'm not that old, but it's four, four years from now. Um, and the issue became when Roblox announced uh, when uh, before, at this time all hats were just hats you know if you had hair right now it's separated into accessories ha hair waist shoulder before all the hats it doesn't matter what it was it all was categorized as hats only um, and on the inventory page which doesn't have it anymore when you go, when you go to the inventory um, there used to be a just say hat hats and then it had the counter of how many hats you had in total of uh, of how much you owned and it doesn't have that anymore so uh, it was super easy back in the day to just go to someone's profile click on their inventory and then look at the number and that's how much they own and they get ranked based off how much hats they own of course once they add accessories that was removed and then it became a hassle that i could not it was a, you have to go through each page here and then count how many pages a person has and then add them all together which took way too long and it wasn't really worth it so i stopped working on the group stopped you know being active in the group because there was no way to rank people easily and i could hire people to do it but it's all about trust and i don't know how much if their, if their count is correct you know i gotta make sure everything is correct right so i stopped doing it i did search up a couple times you know if there's an easy way or there's a way there's an application or some sort of script for it to work but i didn't guess it didn't there was a, there was it was too brand new and there wasn't anything really about that now we can fast forward uh four years later uh, where I decided to search up even harder to see if I could revive this group, which we did uh, a little bit, a couple months ago. Uh, like I said, with a friend, we worked together to create a script, which I use by myself, personally use myself to just go and put in the user ID and it'll give us the uh, total amount of hats of everything counted. So, you know, your hat, your shoulder, your face, accessory, all that gets counted into one number. And there you go. So now I decided, all right, well, let's try something a little bit more public. So you can just do it yourself. But obviously, it's very, very basic and it's not done. Well, it's done, but there is more that could be added. There is more that could be done to the bot to make it a little bit more better. But right now, it's just bare bones and it counts your hats and it tells you how much you have. So and you can do anybody. It doesn't have to be your, your number. It's anybody. So for example, let's go to our Discord server and talk about how it works and what it does. So here. We have this server. I'm using my uh, ser my server uh, channels channel Discord server. So there is no hat collecting club server. That is too much work <laughs> to uh, manage two Discord servers. So there'd be a merger here uh, of using this bot in this uh, server. So very very simple. The bot will the bot will only be usable in the bot channel. So it's just this server here. Actually, let me pause this real quick. Okay, so now I'm I'm only have the role for everyone. So the only people who have the role of no roles in the chat are in this server. You only have a role in the server, but uh, basically now this is what you see. Everybody sees here. So bot channel and all that stuff. Um, this is the only server you can use it. The issue is right now since it's very bare bones, the bot will only be online when I'm online or when I decide to turn it on. Um, it'll be on for the most of the time pretty much unless I figure out a way to do it. I know how to do it, but it's going to cost some money uh, for sure. Um, but right now it's just whenever I want to turn it on, it'll be on. So if you don't, you will know it's on when I, you see on the top right here. So let me, let me go ahead and run the script here. So here, now you say bot is online. So the top right here, uh, the bot is online. You can see it in a general server chat and you can see it in bot channel. Uh, anything of art, you can't see it here. It's only, you know, it can only view and only speak in bot channel, but it cannot speak in general chat, but general chat will have 
the bot is online as well. So how to use this bot now is very simple. All you need to do is use the simple uh, prefix semicolon and the command is count and space and then your Roblox IED. So we're gonna go to our Roblox uh, profile, which is lagging, cool, cool. Uh, and we're gonna take this, this is my ID here, very, very short ID because I'm super old. And you just press enter and it gives you your bot count. This is how much hats I own in total. Of course, if you mess up, say you give letters, not gonna work. Or if you give someone's pro, if you give the wrong number, it will also give the same message. So you can, it has, it has a fail safe. So don't, don't worry if you mess up, but it only, you can only, you can only set, search someone's uh, ID number if they're, if it's correct or if the inventory is not public. So make sure that you go into settings and you want to change your, uh, who can see my inventory uh, privacy settings to everyone and save that pretty much. And then you'll be able to let your, you would be able to use the count bot uh, to count your hats. Of course, it's very basic. It only shows you the number and that's it. it doesn't show you the user, I username or anything. Maybe in the future, that will be a thing. Um, but right now we're not figured out how to do that. Uh, I'm sure the people are smart who do that, but uh, it's very simple bot right now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for now uh, for how to use the bot. Uh, if we do can do an example here. So we have somebody in my uh, my group here that said that they need to be re-ranked. So let's go re-rank them using this uh, application here. So we're going to go to our hack hunting club here. And he says that he needs to be re-ranked. I have 527 hats. All right, so I'm going to go to his profile real quick. And I need to double check. His inventory is public. It is public. So we're going to take his ID here. Uh, and then we're going to go into the Discord server. I'm going to do count. 521 he has. He miscounted, but you know, no big deal. Then we're going to go into our uh members here and he was according to the group he was a collector so 250 which is what he was so you know he's be legendary so we gotta go to collector and then his name is he's pretty old so where is he maybe he's not there he is blind legendary and there we go now he's updated now with the correct 521 and there you go that is the group it's pretty cool uh, i i do enjoy this little bot you can use it you can join the discord server and try it out for yourself um it is very cool very cool of course it's like i said it's very very bare bones i said like in the future i think we could probably have it uh spew out the user the user username plus the user i plus the uh the number of hats you own it's very basic it just tells you what it is and that's it um, it'll be fixed probably later in the weeks if I figure it out or my friend figures it out pretty much. Um, other than that, let's talk about the future plans for this bot or this, this idea of hat collecting. Um, it's very tough to do. Uh, this bot is not public. It's just for the server. No one else can use it other than us and the server. I don't plan to make it public anytime soon. So it's something that you, if you want to use it, you got to use it here pretty much. That is all. Uh, and uh the one thing i don't know what we're gonna do we could i could pretty much um add the group roles to this group um, to a server but that might be a little bit too much um but that's a plan that could happen so you can have can be rolled by the uh, rover uh verification bot and it'll uh, if you're in if you're in the hack hunting club it will roll give you a role based off your rank uh, when you're ranked up in the in the group right now it's manually still so like i still have to manually rank you it's not automated i know there's a way to automate it but that's very hard or very long to do it requires a lot of stuff to do um so I'm not, i don't have a plan to do that anytime soon lastly the last thing i probably want to do is the biggest goal is probably have a game uh, associated with this group where you can go ahead and go into the game and pretty much um, click a button or click something and I'll count your hats in the game. It'll be saved uh, as a file in the game and it'll be put on a leaderboard, right? Uh, there's much more, there's a lot of ideas I have for the game. Um, to be, it's just a social hangout, nothing special. Um, 
but uh it'd be pretty cool to have um but there is some limitations and some reasons of why it's not a thing on roblox you would think it'd be done already maybe it has been done but it is pretty there, there is some limitations with the api and you can't really count hats using the api to count hats in the studio so uh it's a bit, that's a little bit of an issue there that has to be solved eventually um but if it's possible i'll try it but it'd be pretty cool to have that idea so that being said i think that's the explanation on that video um, i'll probably talk about it more in the my community page more of a text-based guide or text-based stuff we'll talk about a little bit more there but uh yeah it's it works pretty well um and yeah hopefully you can test it out and just make sure that the bot is online if not just message message me in the server to turn it on if it's not on or if it's if it broke and then yeah it, it needs to do a little more testing but i think it works pretty well uh for now so hopefully that helps uh, and uh, enjoy it it's pretty cool